Hi, I'm Natasha Ryan with Premier Risk Solutions, and this is our video series, Strong, Safe, and True, where we sit down with leaders in the security sector to discuss the topics relevant to today's world. I am ecstatic because today we're having a hopefully brilliant conversation about the kindness games, and we're talking about gratitude in, quite frankly, a sector that sees some gnarly stuff, and I just think it's so wonderful to be able to push a positive message, certainly among people that otherwise may not want to talk about these touchy, sweet feelings. So I'm very happy to have everyone here with me. Keika, Sean, Lee, Kelsey, and Tim, thank you so much. Um, my conversation did begin with my lovely friend from Austin. So we're going to start with you. And I just kind of want to tell, you know, just give us a brief description of what the kindness games are, because some people are probably like kindness games, security, what? So kind of sum it up for us, if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. And you know, what's really funny is the two humans that actually started the kindness games are, are Tim and Lee, because they were trying to create a ferocious game of just being kind to each other and kind to the world, but in a way that just one ups the other because they're like that they're competitive but I'll tell my story um because I I got brought into the kindness game because I ended up being Tim's very first shout out because he and I'd had a conversation the day like the week of where I think I, I was just really frustrated with everything that was going on in the world with you know we had uh the protests going on in the middle of a pandemic and I, I think Kim, Tim and I came to a realization that he and I had very different uh, ideological opinions, yet we still were like good friends. And so Tim asked me this question of like, hey, like knowing that we're so different, can we still be friends? Because our society has told us that if we think differently, we can't be together anymore. We can't be friends. We can't be in the same group. And so it was just so shocking to me that someone who I've respected for this long, who has been a mentor to me is asking me this question. And so we got into this long conversation, long story short, uh, he gave me a shout out, which again, thank you, Tim. And I eventually went on my own journey of, of you know, spreading kindness um, through 30 posts. I think everyone has taken their own journey. Some people do it full 30 days straight. I took a bit of a different approach. Uh, over 30, 30 posts over, I think, three months, just because um, I used to have a lot of anxiety being on camera, if you could tell. Um, but it just, the entire process of the kindness games really just showed me that spreading gratitude is more than just, you know, empty kind words, right? It's like, oh, hey, you know, thank you so much for X, Y, Z. It's It's truly about reflecting on your community and on your past and how your entire tribe literally has so much impact on you. And I could talk about this all day long, but I'll stop there. But the kindness game is truly just a Hunger Game-esque game to just spread as much kindness as you possibly can. So I'll stop there and hand it back to you, Natasha. Okay, I'm going to go to Tim. Tim, I want you to explain what a shout out is and how the 30 post 30 days, how it all works. Well, usually uh, my shout outs begin with the kindness games over time <laughs> because I've done way more than 30 posts. So once you've done your initial 30 and you become the kindness games alumni, you have the option of going into overtime and continuing. I um, mean, actually, as of this morning, I'm at 140 posts for the kindness games, which is slightly insane. I might be obsessed. I think it's a good thing to be obsessed with, but as we were going through this pandemic in September of 2020, as we saw police and, and citizens fighting and all these protests, it started to feel like a Hunger Games to me. We were just trying to find whoever was supposed to be our enemies and like track them down and try to do damage. And I myself was kind of in a darker place last year. And I said, why don't we find people who are hurting people who need to be recognized and lift them up for everybody to see because of the amazing person they are. Even though none of us are perfect, there's beauty in the brokenness. And so a shout out is literally a video on LinkedIn um, that is 25 seconds to 10 minutes, 
10 minutes or less. And um, it's talking about somebody who has made an impact in your life and what they've done for you so that everybody else can appreciate who they are. I love this. So it's an actual video. It's not just a post with words. So videos are our preferred method. It's the most engaging. However, we have alumni who have done nothing but word posts and some of them have been amazing. I don't really write that great. It takes me too long to think about how to make it make sense. So I just talk. It's kind of my thing. Uh, but some people write very well. So you can do text posts as well. So when I listened to Kay Kishan talk, she said you asked her, look, here we go. We're from two different political spectrums. How was that hard for you to embark on a conversation like that? Or has it become kind of second nature in this climate? You know, um, I'm not one to shy away from a conversation. I, I was raised to say that if we don't understand or if we have differences, like we should talk about it. Most of the time we can find enough common ground to move forward. But when Kate Gishan and I, we hadn't spoken in six months because uh, we worked together, but then we got sent home the pandemic. Sure. And the first time we spoke over a video conference was the day that Lee and I started the Counting This Game. And I had no idea who I was going to shout out. And she just dropped her burdens at my feet, which is great. That's what friends are supposed to do. But as she was dropping her burdens, I was, I was thinking like, wow, I don't agree with anything she's actually saying. Um, and we've never really talked about these perspectives because we've worked together. Why would we talk about right. these political perspectives? And so I asked her a question. I told her a story about an uh, something that had happened with my wife and I and some other people, which kind of illustrate our viewpoints. And I said, look, like, can we still be friends? Can we still have this mentoring relationship? Because right now society says, no, we cannot. One of you has to be evil and the other has to be virtuous. And evil and virtuous people can't get along. And I reject that. I don't think that your opinion on a political topic indicates your character at all. Well, I'm going to go to Lee now because I want to hear how this has been um, received in the security world. I mean, this isn't typically, you know, when I see posts, it's more about terrorism and shootings and, and protection and riots. So when your feed comes across a traditionally, you know, feed like that and it's be kind and positive. I mean, what kind of feedback did you get from your peers? Yeah, thanks, Natasha. Well, contrary to belief, actually, I would say that the kindness games has been welcomed without with open arms, you know, with, with all of our industry and community. Um, as you well know, previously the industry was known as you know, very Taipei, uh, law enforcement, military personalities. That being said, we're a very uh, diverse and inclusive community now, and we encourage everybody to have a voice. So the exciting thing about the Kindness Games was really that empowering everybody to have that voice, to give them a platform irrelevant, whether they were 18 or 80, male or female. And that's a really cool thing. Um, you know, myself and Tim talk about, the, you know, we were the co-founders, but we didn't do it for us. We did it for the audience and we did it for everybody else. And as Tim kind of alluded to earlier, he was hurting um, and every one of us was hurting because of what was going on around us and all of the negative atmospheric. So what we wanted to do was just flood the airwaves with positivity, with kindness, and just really be compassionate you know, to, to everybody. Um, you know, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. We failed. But that being said, what we're doing right now is we're giving our time up as servant leaders to give back to everybody. And we genuinely do care. With us, it's not just about words. You know, we lead by example. We set those high standards, um, you know, and we encourage and we also challenge. We will call you out. We're not scared to, you know, to call you out you know, and say, hey, come on. You know, let's let's change that narrative a little bit. Let's you know, really encourage your your close community, the bigger environment. And again, we're really trying to infuse that kind of positive lifestyle mantra and don't allow negativity to to move your mindset you know, down a dark path. So the kindness games was received with open arms. Yes, you'll always have 
you know, some, some skeptics, you know, you will have haters, but what we do is we talk to the haters, you know, we call them out and say, Hey, you know, why are you saying what you are? Let us understand more of your point of view. Let's get on a call. Nine times out of 10 though, the haters don't usually get on the call, but that being said, we will still, um, you know, accept it. And, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, we're lovers. Yeah, we really want to be kind and we just want to encourage and, and support as many people as we can. And that's such a good point, Lee, because as we all know, the prolific philosopher Taylor Swift says, haters are going to hate. Shake it off. <laughs> as we shake it off, uh, Kelsey, tell me what this has done for, for your soul. Yeah. Well, this is a perfect question for me because I am totally the mushy one of the group. Um, <laughs> no shame. But I think, honestly, it I really echo pretty much everything that everybody said because the Kindness Games really, for me, it was joining because Tim shouted me out as well and because I met these lovely people through um, Getting Security Done, a group that we're all involved in. So I think for me, it's it's given me a lot of positive energy for sure. I think it's, it really has brightened and warmed my soul for talking legit feelings um, because it's, I think it's so valuable and really important to give back to those people who have helped you because we can't do it alone. So I think um, it's uplifting. Like I would find myself doing kind of scam shout outs. I did the 30 days of videos and was way too competitive with myself about it. But when you're doing those videos, I found way more energy in myself during the day. So in the yeah. dark, crazy times that we were in, or um, if you're just struggling with something or you're not struggling at all and you just want some more positive energy, it's a good way to start your day. I found, I found that when I was giving shout outs and really, got over the awkwardness of talking to the camera, I, I found some positive energy. And I think for me, seeing the repercussions, the positive repercussions to others, you'd find people, you'd meet them three months down the line in person when we were, we were back in person and they were saying, oh yeah, I watch your videos every morning because it really helped to start my day on a positive note. And you'd never know that they were watching because they didn't interact. They were kind of on the sidelines as we call it, but you're changing lives whether you know it or not. So I think that I has that. been the coolest part um, and the warming of my soul, because I think it's just, it's incredible the mark that you're actually making um, and one act of kindness or one shout out or one person leading with kindness really can, it really can change the world. It sounds like a big lofty goal, but it's one person at a time that we make a difference. So. So true. Okay. So Tim, tell me how, if someone wants to get involved in the kindness games, can they, or do they have to wait to be given a shout out? No, they do not have to wait. And this is not the ice bucket challenge. We're not nominating people. There's, if you get called out, there's no impetus for you to have to join. We're just recognizing you. But if you want to start, uh, reach out to any of us on LinkedIn. Uh, the Kindness Games has a page on LinkedIn. In the next couple of weeks, we'll have a website, uh, thekindnessgames.com. And um, we will talk to you. We will let you know what's going on. You can see the different videos. And probably one of us will jump on a Zoom and do a joint kindness with you to get started off. It's that easy. It's 30 posts. We like to say 30 posts in 30 days, but not all of us did it in 30 days. And you are free to do it twice a week, once a week. Just doing those 30 posts really helps reinforce gratitude as a lifestyle within yourself. And it really impacts your community. To what Kelsey was saying, I do work calls all over the globe. I talk with people in all different countries. And there are people that haven't liked haven't shared, haven't commented. And I jump on a call with them and they're like, the kindness game. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, man, we watch you all the time. It's hilarious. It's great. Why do you watch? Because it is such a fun thing to do and it makes us feel better. And guess what? This will probably help you with your gratitude and your outlook on life, but you will have an impact, a positive impact on others. And 
it'll make you better at your video conferencing game because I have never spoken to no one as good as I do right now. (laughs) I love the comedic uh, flavor that you all bring to the table. It's much appreciated in today's world. So Tim, also you guys wanted, or Lee, you wanted to talk about, I think you're going to be on a panel soon. Yeah, let me let me hit that off. So I'm going to be in a panel in Orlando for, for GSX. Um, it is going to be focused around physical security, actually talking about uh, commercial real estate technology. That being said, I will bring my passion, my flair, my energy for kindness. I will talk about the kindness games. I'll talk about GSD as well within, um, within that as well. I'm actually going to pass the mic back to Tim so he can talk about the IPSB conference. Yeah, so uh, the International Protectors Conference in Vegas in December uh, has asked the Kindness Games to have a panel uh, with GSD getting security done. So it's going to be a panel of probably six or seven of us uh, from GSD and the Kindness Games. Of course, all of us here that are founders of the Kindness Games are members of GSD. And we're going to discuss um, elevating your career as a young professional. We're going to discuss the place that kindness has in the security industry and the concept called leading with kindness and why it is the strongest, most engaging and scalable form of leadership available. And hopefully the kindness games book is out by then. Love it. Okay. All right. Thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. And of course, If you have any questions, get in touch with any of the lovely people on this screen or Natasha at PremierRiskSolutions.com. Be sure to come back weekly for more videos just like this one. Thanks to all of you. Everyone have a wonderful day. And I am going to partake in the kindness games. Just saying.